deep within the Kruger National Park in South Africa, and my camera is locked and loaded. We are staying at Sabi Sabi Private Game Reserve, and wildlife spotting honestly does not get any better than it does here. Our digs for the next four days will be the extraordinarily luxurious Five Star Earth Lodge. I think once our time is up, they're going to need to call the military to get us out of here. The Kruger National Park uh, compiles of about three and a half million hectares of, of wildlife reserve. Uh, it's hundreds of years old. It's pre pretty much stayed the same in, for eternity. Uh, and we're blessed with uh, you know, rich game sightings right from your, your most dangerous animals, things like lion, elephant, buffalo, um, the exciting things to see, but a huge diversity right down to beautiful birds and, and vegetation. And then if you add that into the private nature of uh, where we're operating in, is where you'll have these one-on-one -on -one close encounters with wildlife, uh, personalized moments where you watch a, a leopard hunting, for example, um, without 20 other cars joining you. So cool, we are so close to this run here, like less than a meter. Oh my god. And he comes, keeps coming. So cool. <laughs> they see the vehicle is another animal of the bush that they've never had a problem around it, which they trust it 100%. The, 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 the female with the cubs or baby, they don't mind the young one walking towards the car because they trust it, because they've never had a problem around the car. They feel more comfortable with the young one playing around it. So that's why you see them approaching the vehicle, walking around the vehicle. Mm -hmm. such a special, special experience. I mean, you can watch a thousand animal documentaries on television, but absolutely nothing compares to experiencing this for yourself. And to be able to share these moments with these animals, being able to see, to hear, to smell, to feel and be totally immersed in this beautiful wild environment, being able to witness these moments of seeming brutality, but at the same time, these moments of extreme tenderness and beauty and to experience it all here in this place is truly special. At Earth Lodge, the wild African bush flows in and around the lodge, completely uninterrupted by fences or really any noticeable division at all. This means you have to get used to the locals dropping in whenever they please. That is crazy. Can you believe? Look what we have outside. We're dreaming for it, and they came, elephants in the backyard. Uh, the idea when we built Earth Lodge, as part of our ongoing philosophy of empathy to our environment, empathy to our neighbors, empathy to our staff, empathy to the wildlife that we have, we wanted to create something that fitted into its environment uh, without a huge scar, uh, something that, that looked natural. Um, so you'll see the features on the walls, very natural earth, carved earth look. Um, you know, uh, some, something that just, just doesn't stand out in its landscape. We have elephant on the roof. We've had uh, elephant drinking from your little plunge pool in front of the room. Uh, lions chasing uh, wildlife through the camp. So, so the idea was to create something that would have longevity and something that would be sustainable in its environment. So what we've tried to do with the food here is represent uh, South African cuisine to a degree, but more working on uh, using sustainable farming um, practices in the area, trying to source locally, fresh ingredients, and then just done really well.
So I, um, I grew up in a bush where I used to go with my grandfather for the hunting. Was part of Sabi Sabi and uh, Endangered Wildlife came together and started a project in our village looking for disadvantaged children like me. We went to do the training for about three years. And then after the three years, we started looking for job. And, and now I'm, I'm a head guide of Sabi Sabi. In the past, we will look at them as an animal that to hunt to eat. But now we're no longer looking at that as an animal to eat, hunt and eat. It's an animal that we need to look after them because they attract more people who create more jobs into the village that benefit the whole community. Mm -hmm.